depression, the real cause. What's going on? This is Dr. Schilling with Square Health. Today we're going to talk about depression. And we're not talking about like, is my serotonin low? Is my dopamine low? You got that? You all right? <laughs> Bring it back up. There you go. Technical difficulty here. Our camera woman, Christine, is on the job. She's doing amazing. Am I getting paid right. for this? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about depression. So there are some neuroemotional themes behind depression. And it's not like, oh, you know, today sucked and yesterday sucked and tomorrow's going to suck, so everything's going to suck. Like, people literally lose a sense of themselves and a purpose in life and things like that. So they, they literally say, there is no point. Just talking to a young man about his son recently, and yes, it looks like my brain's exploding on my head. Uh, the point is, people lose hope about their lives, and they lose hope about what they can do for themselves because they literally feel like they're lonely, like nobody cares, um, you know, nobody's paying attention to them. They might feel a sense of worthlessness. They might feel guilt about something about their life. And these are not rational thoughts. People like, when a person's not depressed and they talk about someone who is depressed or they have a friend who is depressed, it's hard for them to relate because if you've never been in depression, you don't understand, okay? Uh, personally speaking, like when I was in college, you know, they, there are people who have um, what are co it's called suicidal ideation. They don't actually fall through with it, but they, they ponder, like, what would happen if, you know, it would end right now. Well, that personally happened to me when I was driving. Um, clear as day, I was coming back from undergrad to back to my hometown. I was driving down the road. I'm like, not feeling so hot about things. And I was my sophomore year in college. I don't remember what was going on. But I'm like, what if I just, you know, if you ever seen Tommy Boy, like, jerk the wheel into a bridge appointment, you know? Like, the point was, like, what would happen if I took like, my life right now? Like, what would it be? I was literally at the low, low point in my life, and I just didn't have a sense of purpose, didn't have a sense of direction. Things weren't going as well as I wanted in relationships, at school, whatever it might have been. And I didn't know what to do. And fortunately, I didn't choose that path. But a lot of people do. A lot of people have feelings like that, and it can be scary. So sometimes you can feel like life is throwing a fight at you, and there's just no point in fighting because you're going to lose anyway. Like, that's what depression is. It feels like, God, why would I even put up a fight? Because it's just, I can't change anything. It feels, like, disempowering, um, dis you know, just frustrating. So that can happen in relationships with sexual frustration. People get depressed about that because they're not getting their needs met. Um, they might have a self-devaluation conflict where they just don't feel good about themselves or they're comparing themselves to others. So they, I mean, social media, like, that's just killing our kids right now. Comparing yourselves to others, like, what kind of filter do they have on right now? I mean, it's, it's, it's insane. So if you feel, for example, like you can't be who you want to be in your world, like in your territory, like this is my territory and I want to be who I want to be, but you don't feel like the, the ability or the liberty or the confidence and the, the assertiveness to do so, that's when depression kicks in. This is all the crap that leads you to feeling like you have dopamine, um, dopamine depression. So that's like a lack of, um, of self-confidence, right? That's like dopamine. That's what we think about dopatone. We use dopatone with people when they have low self-esteem and they're feeling depressed. Like it, it raises their dopamine levels. You know, they might be able to... They might not be able to finish tasks or finish what they're trying to start, and they get depressed about them. They start self-devaluating things like that, or it could be the other side, which is this other, people are like dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine, which is adrenaline. So if you think about serotonin, you're thinking about I no longer get enjoyment out of the things I used to. That's serotonin. That's that's a big one. Um, you know, you can if you feel overwhelmed easily, that's also related to serotonin and things like that. But these are the deeper meaning behind the condition. The label of depression is just like someone slaps a, you know, hi, my name is depression. And then they're like, well, how's your depression today? How are, you, how are you, know, how down are you feeling? Like, that's not helpful. You go to a talk therapist and you say, what, what can you do about my depression? Well, let's talk about how you're feeling when you're feeling depressed. And what is your, what's your thought process to get yourself out of that? No one has time to sit there and think about how crappy they feel. They want to feel better. So, I mean, talk therapy has its place, don't get me wrong. If you're in a seriously tough spot and you need some strategies to get out of it, go for it. I, I like QNRT because it gets me out of stuff fast. It gives me self-awareness, gives me a, appreciation for what's going on in my life, what might be feeling like it's imposing upon me, like I have no power against it and things like that. That's how I use that tool, and I, I've seen it transform people's lives right in front of me every day. And I have that great pleasure and that great fortune, and I feel a great sense of purpose with that. So if this is you, if this is your struggle, if you know someone like this, some, one of your loved ones, one of your family members, doesn't matter who it is, this is an opportunity to take a step back and ha share this with them. Help them understand what the real root cause of depression is so that they can understand themselves better and they can say, gosh, I'm not alone in this, or gosh, there's a meaning behind it. It's just not like a, a pointless journey that I have no control over. So well, use this as your ability to take control and get out of the depressive state. All right, guys? Uh -huh. 
share with a friend or family member, share it with your community. There are people out there that are silently depressed and they don't want to talk about it because they're shaming themselves. Don't let, you know, friends don't let other friends shame themselves or be depressed, okay? So share with a loved one, help other people help themselves. We're here to help you and support you. Let us know how we can do that. All right, guys? Have a great night.